Good morning, Mohawks. This is Lillian and Bailey with your Mohawks New Flash. Today is a thankful Thursday, February 29, 2024. And today is Leap Day. February ha only has Leap Day once every four years. So that means instead of 365 days in a year, this year we have 366 days. A little later on, we are going to show a video on why we have Leap Year. Today for lunch we are having mini corn dogs, baked beans, celery sticks, and applesauce. Next up is our important, important school announcements. Don't forget to sell your candy bars. The money we raise will be going towards a rock climbing wall for the gym and an air hockey table for, for the gaming room. Today's clubs are Kids Who Cook, Digital Photography, Photography, photography. Physical Fun and Games, and Pokemon Club. <coughs> Next week is P Mohawk Shop grades 3 to 5. Also next week is Dr. Seuss week. Monday is Wear a Hat Day. Tuesday is Crazy Sock Day. Wednesday is Wacky Day. Thursday is Dress as Your Favorite Character Day or What You Want to Be When You Grow Up. Friday is PJ Day. Also congratulations to the 5th grade boys on their win on Tuesday. They play again tonight, so good luck. Next up, we have Emma and Elena with our joke of the day. Good morning. This is Mrs. Help, and I just want to give a shout out to our fifth grade girls who were runners up in their Metro basketball game last night. Congratulations, girls, and I can't wait to see what the future holds with your basketball program. Also, on March 9th, the Madison High School Beauty and the Beast cast will be having a brunch in the ballroom at 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. in the high school commons. There you will have a character meet and greet, food, drinks, and other fun activities. It is all hosted by the Beauty and the Beast cast. So, of course, you will see Belle, Cogsworth, Lumiere, and, of course, the Beast. So, all Applications and registration are due March 7th. You can pay for this at madisonarts.org. It should be a really fun time. Today we have a joke for you. Why couldn't the skeleton go to school? I don't know. What? His heart wasn't in it. <laughs> yeah. Why are elevator jokes so classic and good? I don't know. Why? because they work on so many levels. <laughs> Next up we have Ren and Adeline. What's, it? What's today's weather and birthdays? Today, today's weather will be partly clouder, cloudy, high of 40. Tonight cold with a few clouds, low of 28. Today's birthdays are Sophia Steen, Happy birthday. After announcements, please walk to the office for your birthday pencil. Also remember to tell the kind cooks in the cafeteria that it is your birthday and they'll give you a birthday cookie. Now let's stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next up is our inspirational video. Good folks, I'm Broadcast Cal. Today is a very special and rare day. It only happens once every four years. It's Leap Day. Do you know why we have leap years? Stick around and I'll fill you in with all the fun mathematical details. So what is a leap year? Based on our calendar, an ordinary year has 365 days. Well, a leap year has 366 days. For all you math whizzes out there, that's an extra day. Leap day is added because it takes 365 days, 5 hours, 48 minutes, and 45 seconds to go completely around the sun. If a leap year was not added to the calendar, the seasons would start one day earlier every four years, which means that after 360 years, spring would begin on December 21st instead of March 21st. That would be a lot of spring snow days. Spring snow days wouldn't be so bad. 
Leap years were introduced over 2,000 years ago by Roman general Julius Caesar. His calendar, named the Julian calendar, he had only one rule. Any year evenly divisible by four would be a leap year. Unfortunately, there was a problem with that formula because it produced too many leap years, causing the Julian calendar to not align with the tropical calendar. As a result, a new calendar was introduced, the Gregorian calendar. The Gregorian calendar is the one that we follow today. Did you know that when Britain finally switched over to the Gregorian calendar in September of 1752, that 11 days were skipped? Can you imagine going to bed on September 2nd and waking you up on September 14th? Days gone just like that. Poof. They did this to catch up to the rest of the countries who previously adopted the Gregorian calendar. Now, if you're wondering, how do I figure out if it's a leap year? Ask yourself these questions. Is this year divisible by four? If the answer is yes, then ask, is this year also divisible by 100? If so, it's not a leap year. Unless it's also divisible by 400. Confused yet? Let me give you an example. The year 2000 is divisible by four, is divisible by 100, also divisible by 400, making it a leap year. But your 2100 will not be a leap year. Even though 2100 is divisible by four, it is also divisible by 100, but not divisible by 400. So your 2100 is not a leap year, meaning that there will be an eight year gap between the years 2096 and 2104 instead of a four-year graph. So basically, most years divisible by four will be leap years. Only the ones divisible by 100, but not divisible by 400, will not be a leap year. Hope this makes a little more sense. Warren Broadcast Cal wishing you a happy leap year. And I'm encouraging you to use your extra day this year to do something kind for someone else. And see if you can find someone who has a birthday on February 29th. And make this year's birthday celebration extra special for them. Because the next leap year happens in 2024. Broadcast Cal, out.